Another of the closer races was in District 2A, where incumbent Republican Matt Grossel turned back DFL challenger Reed Olson. Grossel is excited to have won the race by about 1,400 votes, and our reporter Justin Othout has more. Minnesota House of Representatives incumbent Matt Grossel will be returning to his District 2A seat after his victory last night in the polls. Grossel received 8,836 votes, which roughly amounted to 54% of total votes. I figured it like this. If, uh, if it was time for me to move on to something else, then, you know, I would probably have lost the election. But it's, uh, I, I think the good Lord has, uh, has uh, wanted me to stay in this uh, current season to keep serving the people of this district. And I'm, I'm glad to and honored to. Grossel took a hands-on approach to understand the needs of potential voters in his district, like he had done in his previous campaigns. I never take any campaign lightly, and uh, you just get out and work hard, get out and talk to people. People want to see you face to face, they want to talk to you. Um, I know some people like to do things uh, via internet or, or uh, uh, any other kind of social media, but people want to see your face they want to shake your hand they want to they want to talk to you they want to uh, voice their concerns and the things that are needed as a former law enforcement officer representative grossel has set his primary objective towards improving and maintaining public safety in communities around the district the, the public safety issue is something that, that has to be addressed right away and you know i've been working i've been working on public safety for for a number of years now and to make sure that we uh, make it make minnesota a safe place wherever you're at that's going to be one of my biggest goals. You know, make sure that make sure that we uh, put the money where it's needed. Uh, stay away from stay away from frivolous spending, and make sure it's going to the right places. Reporting in Bemidji, I'm Justin Othout, Lakeland News. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.